Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to replace the stock on my 6mm arc. I've already changed the lower, which had this rifle length tube on it. I sort of like it. This is a Magpul MOE. Uh, the only problem I have with it, of course, is it doesn't have any comb adjustment and it doesn't have any length of pull adjustment. So it's pretty much fixed in place, which isn't quite comfortable for this 24 inch uh, medium weight barrel. Uh, it's front heavy. So I'm going to replace this with uh, my brand new uh, Magpul PRS uh, Generation 3 stock, which has all the adjustments, and I'll go through that in a minute. But the first thing that has to happen is I need to take this off. Well, I've got this little uh, extension uh, butt pad on here. That'll be the first thing I'll take off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're ready for the install. Here's the Magpul uh, PRS Gen 3 box. Uh, Magpul's come a long way. The last thing I ordered from them came in a brown, ugly looking box. Uh, you can order these, I guess you can see, in uh, three, four different colors there. Black, flat dark earth, OD green, or gray. Alright, so uh, let's just go ahead and take it out of this fancy sleeve here. And where they have another box. Okay, so let's just open that up. And they should have all the parts, and they do. Uh, there's the stock right there. They should have an extension. Yes, they do for a carbine. And of course, this little screw and uh, instruction booklet and it looks like uh, some kind of decal so let's go ahead and set this aside and uh, I'm not going to use the carbine uh, extension I'm going to just use this now the instructions say or that you should probably loosen the QD slot here and this little screw here to make it go on a lot smoother. Well, I'll just test it first to see if it just goes on without it, and it does. So, remember my little spring over here for my little detent, okay? I want to make sure that that's not pinched. You can kind of see it there. All right, so this is obviously not the piece that I need. The piece that I need is that other extension. So hold on folks. So this went on pretty nicely. You remove the QD socket so that it slides on. Be very careful of the detent in the spring when you slide it back on with the proper extension. Then, uh, according to the instructions, uh, the butt plate has uh, adjustments for up and down and can't left and right. So it's got two Allen screws on the back you kind of loosen those, etc., and then slide it down. Then, according to the instructions, you uh, do your length of pull detent adjustments all the way out to allow you to get a screwdriver access to the screw that goes into the tube. You simply tighten that up so that it won't back out. It feels like it's tightening okay. Yep, it is. I can feel it in my hand. Okay, that's good enough right there. That thing is secure. Now I'm going to put the QD back in. And then I'm going to readjust the pad back on and then show you the adjustments of the stock itself. So hold on a second, folks. Okay, I'm going to put the QD cup back in. Uh, in this particular case, I, I want the actual QD itself on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to stick that in there and then screw this in from the other side. 
and just kind of get it started for right now and just in case I have to take it apart. Hope you're not bored by this stuff, but now I see a lot of problems and not enough on the internet to actually show people installation. Okay, so that's, uh, well, let's get it a little more secure than that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and, and adjust this back on to where it should be and then tighten it up. Okay, so it should just go right on up to about flush right there. Then if you don't drop your Allen screw, your Allen wrench, you're okay. Okay, now I'm going to adjust these back on just a little bit tighten because I want to make I maybe want to move them a little later. Hey, I don't know really know how tight they'll go, so I'll just do everything kind of finger tight for right now. Okay, so that seems to be on secure. Seems to be tight. Everything seems to be good. Uh I'm going to go ahead and take my length of pull adjustment and put it all the way back in now. Like I said, these detents are really, really tight. I like that. I'm also going to remove the sling, uh, adapt this sling portion over here. It's ambidextrous, you can move it to this side over here, which is what I'm going to do because I prefer to have the sling on the left hand side. So I'll do that off camera. It's not something you know you can see, it's just two simple little Allen screws. One, two, undo them, flip it over, put it back in from the other side, and you're good. I doubt I'll use that. QD for a sling that's up here because that'll make my sling too long and I and uh, those of you who have seen my videos know that I don't use a military style sling I just use an old western belt okay so let me go ahead and get this taken care of get the upper back on here and then I'll show you how to adjust it or how I adjust it for my needs Well, folks, that does it for my Magpul PRS Generation 3 stock and installation. I'll roll in some brief footage of it. I, yeah, I did have some problems. Uh, number one is, is the screw and how it attaches. Uh, getting familiar with how to remove the, the butt pad uh, for it to be able to slide down so that you can gain access to where the screw attaches to your uh, rifle buffer. Uh, the fact that from the factory it actually had the carbine attachment on, not the rifle length attachment. So you had to undo the QD that's right here in order to be able to take that off and, and put on the rifle length uh, proper uh, extension. Also, when I put it on, you have to pay particular attention to your rear takedown detent and spring. Uh, yeah, that can kind of get messed up. That took about uh, at least two or three times to straighten that up and get it in properly. Hold it with one hand while you're pushing with the other to be able to uh, take a screwdriver and go ahead and get things done. In the box and the kit, the most valuable thing that you have is the instructions. The instructions are detailed and simple if you follow them. Uh, on one side it is for a carbine buffer, on the other side is for a rifle installation. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Follow that. Then it's just getting familiar with the adjustments of and how versatile the adjustments are on this generation uh, three uh, PRS stock. Uh, that is the comb and the length of pull, the the butt pad height up or down and the ability to to cant left or right uh, 
The detents getting used to the adjustments, they're very, very strong and stiff. So the stock does feel really, uh, really well made and very, very heavy duty. Uh, then putting all that together, make sure that everything's all tightened down, do your function check. Uh, it did add about one pound in total weight to my rifle over the Magpul MOE uh, stock that I took off of there. But uh, fortunately, I already own a Magpul uh, PRS Generation 3 stock, so I knew approximately the adjustments that I needed for my scope. But real briefly, just so that you can see that, if you ever wonder uh, how it gets done, everybody knows that uh, you can loosen your, your scope rings to move your scope forward and backward to get the proper eye alignment. Because no two scopes are alike. The eye relief is different for everyone. And eye relief is everything, to be able to be comfortable behind the rifle. Uh, you can also uh, loosen your rings completely and move it on the Picatinny rail. So get it wherever you need to get it because the one part that is very unforgiving about these stocks is the cheek piece. It does not go forward or backward that I know of. Uh, it's pretty much there. So when you address your rifle and you put your cheek down onto the comb adjustment, and get a good cheek weld, you should be able to open your eye and your scope should be directly perfect alignment every time. So you close your eye, you address the rifle, get a good cheek weld like it's comfortable, and then open your eye and the scope should be right there. And there it is. And that tells you you have the proper adjustment. So the next part is to go ahead and function check this by actually shooting it out at the range. So uh, I put in little bits and pieces of the installation. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a noob at this kind of thing, so I double checked and rechecked and redid everything uh, just because I ha wanted to be confident that the job was done right. But thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this uh, brief video of this Magpul PRS Genith generation 3 stock. Uh, they're all over the internet, but I hope this helped you. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. But no matter what, thanks for watching. God bless you all. We'll see you at the range. Goodbye.